Music Access. Hello, everyone. I'm B.I.G.'s Benji, who will be your host here on Music Access for the next two weeks. Of course, the reason I'm here is because I'm filling in for Aaron of Newest, who is visiting his home and family. I'll do my best to fill his shoes while he's gone. One thing I'm worried about, though, is if all of you Music Access family members will be welcoming me in. I'm concerned you won't even say hello or respond to what I say as you hear someone unfamiliar over the radio. Well, my heart is wide open and prepared to greet you guys in. So what about you guys? Are you ready? Ooh, our first song on Monday, December 29th was Lips Are Moving by Megan Trainer. Hello, everyone. I'm B.I.G.'s Benji here, filling in for Aaron on Music Access. You guys might not be familiar with my group B.I.G. We debuted in July this year and we have five members in our group and I'm the lead vocal. Ah. <laughs> so, like I mentioned before, I'll be filling in for Aaron for the next two weeks while he's away at home. So, while Aaron is relaxing a bit at home, meeting up with old friends and family, we'll have fun here on Music Access for two hours every day. Woo! A lot of people have been telling me how nerve-wracking it can get on the first day of a live radio show. So, what am I feeling right now? Hmm... I'm really nervous, honestly, because it's my first time as, you know, a DJ. But I'm really excited to meet all of you, so please show me lots of support. <laughs> I think I'll feel a lot more comfortable if you guys send me some messages of support and cheer. If you have any questions for me, please send them as well. Let me know what you guys are up to and tell me about yourselves so I can get to know you guys better. And I'll do my best to introduce as many of your messages as I can. All right, let me tell you what's up for today. For the first hour, is there a bad habit or a bad memory that you want to get rid of? You can let me know and we can throw that all away in our MA trash can. And what kind of music quiz will we be solving today? You'll find out on All About Music Quiz. Meanwhile, for the second hour, we have a Monday corner called My Treasure Box with Tasha. This corner is all about the special things that make us think back on the precious moments in our lives. A blanket that I had since I was born, an article of clothing that I no longer fit into but brings back fond memories, a lucky charm that I use when I'm especially nervous. We're going to talk about your special treasures. Just write My Treasure Box on your title and share with us what kind of special, memorable items you have. We'll introduce those messages in just a bit with Tasha, who will join us in the studio. Here is how you can listen and participate. You can download the Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio application on your smartphones, and you can also send us messages through the app using the comment function. You can also listen to us by visiting our website, www.arirangradio.com slash music access, and leave your messages there on our message board. And you can also see our broadcast in real time. What's up, everyone? Another way that you can tune in is through Terrestrial DMB, but this is only available for our listeners living on Jeju Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Jeju City, 88.1 for Sogipo, and 101.9 for Daejeon. You all have been sending in some great song requests, so keep them coming by posting up a message on our message board under the title Request. All right, we'll come right back after a song for message time. This song is When I Was Your Man by Bruno Mars. Do all the things I should have done When I was your man Do all the things I should have done When I was your man The song you just heard was When I Was Your Man by Bruno Mars. I'm B.I.G.'s Benji, filling in for Aaron of Newest here on Music Access. Here's an introduction to our New Year's special. On Thursday, the first day of 2015, we have a special program in store for you. Music Access New Year's special, May All Your Wishes Come True, Abracadabra. We're going to say the magic word abracadabra after writing your plans and hopes that you want to see come true in 2015. If you want to have your wish come true by next year, let us know what you want to see come true by leaving us a message on our message board under the title abracadabra. We'll read these messages during the special corner on Thursday with our Thursday guest, Gihun. 
And here's an introduction to our corners for this week. Our Wednesday corner is Aaron's family with 15 Ann. But, you know, B.I.G. Benji, your boy's here. So we're going to call it Benji's family for the next two weeks. <laughs> this week, Yedin will be in the States. So it'll just be with me and Jimin. This Wednesday is actually New Year's Eve, mm, December 31st. So this week's Benji's family topic is the best and worst for our family in 2014. Looking back at 2014, what were some of the best things that happened to your family and what were some of the worst? Let us know by sending your messages under the title Benji's Family on our message board. On Friday, we have Crazy No joining us for Dancing in the Club MA. It'll actually be the first Friday of 2015 and our corner topic will be things I've never done before in my life. Think about some things that you've wanted to try but were never able to do before and share it with us. Just write Club MA on your title before sending your messages to us. More information about the corners that we'll be doing this week are on our message board, so make sure to take a look and I look forward to hearing back from you guys real soon. It's now time to find out what our Music Access family members are doing and where they are with... Message time! Alright! Since it's my first day here, I hope you guys will be able to send me some words of encouragement. Let's see if there's any messages for me today. And... Here we go with our first one. Our first message is from Heather Folsom from the USA. And she says, Hello, Benji. What's up, Heather? Welcome, welcome to Music Access. This is such exciting news. I'm a big fan of yours. Lots of love to B.I.G. as well. Oh, I hope you had a great Christmas. I saw you playing the violin the other day at a concert. Wow, you are amazing. It sounded so beautiful. I cannot wait to see what is in store here on Music Access. Good luck and wishing you the best as an MC. I know you'll do great. Lots of love from the USA, your fan, Heather. Fighting! Heather, thank you so much for your message. It really gives me a lot of confidence. And you saw me playing violin? Hmm. That must have been when I played that winter movement. Ah, oh, it was such a nerve-wracking performance, but thank you for coming. Stay tuned, I might play violin here too. <laughs> Our next message is from Merv from Turkey. And he writes... Hello, Benji. This is all in caps, so I should read it really excited. Hello, I'm B.I.G.'s Turkish fan. You answered me on the Internet Fan Cafe, and I was very happy. Thank you. And Benji Opa, please say, Sarange Merv. You are so cute. I love you so much. Sarange Merv. Although I guess I said it twice now. Lucky. Oh, I, I remember responding on the Fan Cafe too. You know, I really want to get in touch with my fans a lot, so I try to write as much as I can, but I'm really sorry because I don't always get the opportunity. But I'll always try to stay on top of that. Thanks for writing. Our next message is from Yasmin from the USA. She says, Hi Benji, welcome to Music Access, and I look forward to seeing you every day for two weeks. All right. I always listen to Heart to Heart, but sadly, because of the summertime slash wintertime change, I can't watch it live anymore. So I'm so happy I get to see you now. I'm a beginning, and B.I.G. is my favorite group, and I just wanted to say thank you for being so amazing, all five of you. Anyways, Benji fighting and welcome, Yasmin. That's right. Our fan club is called Beginning. And she is a member of the beginning because we're all starting out and we all want to be great musicians. And that's, you know, my goal, even B.I.G. We haven't debuted. It hasn't been that long, but we're always going to strive to have better performances, become better artists. So always be on the lookout and we won't disappoint you ever. Promise. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much, everyone, for sending in your messages to Message Time. Don't be too disappointed if your message wasn't introduced right now because we have more Message Time coming up in just a bit. We'll take a look at some more messages later on. But before that, let's listen to a song before we come back with M.A. Trash Can. This song is Get On Your Knees, Nicki Minaj featuring Ariana Grande. Things you want to delete, memories you want to erase, you can throw them all away here, M.A. Trash Can. A bad habit I developed recently, a pimple that popped up last night, ugh, I want to get rid of it now. A slip of the tongue, a mistake I made at work or school, ugh, erase it from my memory now. If you have things that you want to get rid of, or memories that you want to erase from your mind, you can do that here on M.A. Trash Can. We'll delete those ugly memories and events for you. 
The reason why we have this corner is because after we talk about these mistakes and blunders that we want to erase from our memories, we'll realize, hey, I'm not the only one making mistakes in this world. Other people are suffering from the exact same thing. Don't you think that'll provide some comfort and relief for us? So let's take a look at what kind of trash we have today. Our first one comes from Mauricio from Colombia. What's up? One day, I went on a date with a doctor. I oh, I'm I'm sorry. One day, I went to the doctor and when I came, I saw a mirror so I began to fix my hair. And when I looked to my side, I found like 30 people looking at me and that was so embarrassing to me. I cringed and my face gets red without thinking about the facial expressions I made while those 30 people were looking at me. Have you ever had this kind of experience when you were embarrassed by something you did thinking no one was looking at you? In any case, I want to delete this embarrassing memory forever. Oh, oh, Mauricio, I have a story to tell you. So, you know, it's norm we look in a mirror and we think, oh, you know, what do I look like? And then you think you see a stray hair or, you know, you might see, you know, a booger or something and, you know, you want to fix it. So I remember I'm walking down the street and you know how some cars have tinted windows where you can see your reflection. So I stop by and I think, oh, you know, I could fix my hair a little bit. So I'm looking in this window and I'm fixing my hair. And I'm thinking, okay, it's going okay. And then all of a sudden, the window starts rolling down. And it's going down. And I'm thinking, wait, why is this window rolling up? And then I matched eyes with the person inside. And for me, that was just the most embarrassing thing ever. Because, you know, not only is printing yourself to a certain extent, you kind of, it's not a, you know, a super publicized thing. But for the person was watching me outside, fixing my hair the entire time. <laughs> and for me, that was just, you know, I was shocked. I was embarrassed. I just ran away from there. You know, it happens to everybody. So, you know, it's not that big of a deal. So don't worry, Mauricio. We're going to delete it. Are you ready? And delete. Whew, did you hear that? You won't ever have to remember that again. Now that that's erased from your memories, let's listen to a song. This song is... Happy by Pharrell Williams, and it was requested by Nayaret from Chile. The song you just heard was Happy by Pharrell Williams. Are you happy? Because I'm happy! <laughs> Alright guys, you're listening to Music Access with me, Benji from b a j Throw away your horrible memories or episodes here on MA Trash Can. We'll erase those hurtful memories for you. Our next bit of trash comes from Daniela from Mexico. She writes, Recently, I'm eating more than I need, but it's really hard because I really love Christmas food. But now for the next year, I have to lose weight because I will feel sick if I don't. So I guess I need to delete my greed for food and maybe all the fat that's stored in my body and maybe all the leftover Christmas food at home. Wow, that's a lot of stuff to throw away. But honestly, I don't want to throw away my greed for food. I'm really happy when I'm eating delicious things. What about you, Benji? Are you happy when you have delicious food? What kind of food makes you happy? And do you need to throw away your greed for food as well? Mmm, food. I love food. <laughs> um, well, for me, when I have delicious food, I am extremely happy. Food is one of the things in my life that, you know, brightens my day and helps me relieve stress. Um, the kind of food that I really like or that things that make me happy are honestly not the healthiest things, you know, maybe sweet things, maybe salty things. Sometimes, you know, you can throw a couple things into the fryer. Um, in terms of deleting a greed for food or if I need to throw away my greed for food as well, it's kind of for me a balance because as an idol, you know, you have to take care of your body and... Um, not just your body, but take care of your health. That's really important. And in terms of the food that is very delicious, not all of it's always healthy. You know, you have cotton candy or you might have, you know, french fries. So what I try to do is I try to take a balance. You know, most days I'll try to eat more healthy. So that includes maybe a piece of fruit, um, maybe a salad, something like that. And then, you know, maybe once, twice a week, I'll eat whatever I want to, however much I want to. And at first, it might be a little difficult to do that because it is still cutting back. However, the more you wait for that one kind of meal or that one kind of cheating thing, it makes it so much better. <laughs> like, you have no idea. Like, you wait all week for that one meal and you taste it and it's just boom. It's just great. So, you know, 
Deleting your greed for food, I can help you with that. Deleting your greed for fat leftover food, I can help you with that. But also, don't forget about balance. So, don't worry. Let's go ahead and delete your greed for food and all that leftover Christmas food and fat for you. Are you ready? One, two, three, delete! Ooh, did you hear that? You won't even ever have to remember that again. Now, if you have memories that you want to delete or mistakes that you want to erase, leave, your, leave us your messages on MA Trash Can and let's talk about it together and comfort each other, all right? All you need to do is come visit us at www.arirangradio.com slash music access and leave me a message on our message board with the title MA Trash Can. All right, we'll come right back after a song for All About Music Quiz. And this song is The Heart Wants What It Wants by Selena Gomez, requested by Alge from Mexico. All about music and all about quizzes. A great collaboration of music and quizzes. All about music quiz! A quiz that progresses receives praise, but a quiz that is always the same gets ignored. All about music quizzes, to say the least, the most progressive quiz you'll ever come across. Five different music quizzes from Monday through Friday. Get ready for the great music and have fun answering the quizzes. We even have a special gift for one lucky listener who sends in the correct answer. Our AA music quiz present is Nicki Minaj's album, The Pink Print, provided to us by Universal Music. So, for our first AA music quiz, the format for today is guessing the group. Mm, I'm going to give you guys three hints for a certain group. Listen carefully to the three hints and try to guess what this group is. Are you ready? Here's the hints. Let's go. Reverb, please. All right. Hint number one. This group's name is synonymous to large. Hint number two. This group is a new five-member group and its members include Jaehoon, Gunmin, Gungmin Pyo, Hido, and Benji. Hmm, who's that? Hint number three. This group's songs include 안녕하세요, Hello, and 준비됐나요, Are You Ready? If you you know the answer, better get on it right now. If you know what this group is, write answer on your title and send us a message with the correct answer. We'll listen to a song and come back with the second hint for double A music quiz. And this song is Ringa Linga Ling, Ringa Linga by Taeyang, requested by Vanessa from Peru. <laughs> The song you just heard was Ringa Linga Ling, Ringa Linga by Taeyang. A collaboration between music and quizzes. All about music quiz. So, for our first AA music quiz, the format for today is guessing the group. Before I give you the second hint, here's a brief review of the first hint. Hint number one, this group's name is synonymous to large. Hint number two, this group is a new five-member group, and its members include Jaehoon, Gunmin, Gungmin Pyo, Hido, and Benji. Hmm, I feel like that's familiar. Hmm. Hint number three. This group's songs include 안녕하세요, Hello, and 준비 됐나요, Are You Ready? Okay, that was the first hint. Now, we're going to listen to the second hint, which is a music hint. I'm going to let you guys hear a short part of the song from this group. If you haven't guessed already, this hint will really give the answer away. Ready? Alright, here we go! Let's 
준비됐나요? 준비됐나요? 다리 갈게 음 Ooh, that's a great song. All right, so that was your hint. I don't know if that hint was easy, but I'm sure you know what this song is. If you know the group, write answer on your title and send us a message with the correct answer. If you think you know the answer, come to the Music Access message board at www.adidangradio.com slash music access and leave us your answer with the title answer. Our AA music quiz present is Nicki Minaj's album The Pink Print, provided to us by Universal Music. Alright, before we move on, let's listen to one more song. This song is Red Light by FX, requested by Julio from Chile. And we're back. The song you just heard was Red Light by FX. Hey guys, you're listening to Music Access with me, Benji from B.I.G., it's time to listen to their stories with message time. All right, so let's go to our message board and see what's up. The first one is from Daphne from the USA. Hello, ni hao, konnichiwa. 안녕하세요, cutie Benji. I'm so surprised that you are DJing Music Access. You're doing very well so far. Fighting! Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm really nervous, but you know, I'm doing the best I can. So hopefully, you know, I'll improve over the next few days and be able to provide a better listening experience for all of you. Thank you so much. The next one comes from Rabi Elishame Luna from the Philippines. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce your name correctly. Size. I won't be able to tune in today. I'm going to visit my family relatives in the province. We're going to spend our new year there. It's your first day as a special MC cries i hope you'll have a fun time i'll support you all the way fighting <laughs> um it's okay though you wrote in and for me that's a very very touching thing because honestly as a first time djing i'm not really 100 percent sure what to expect and you know 100 percent sure on how to really um do everything so a lot of the stuff that i'm doing for the first time you know i'm hoping that it goes okay and that you guys are having fun while you're listening so even if you couldn't tune in right today the fact that you sent this in makes you an amazing person thank you for sending your message the next message comes from Sevgi Aydin from Turkey it says hi Benji I'm the admin of BIG Turkey fan page yeah seven o'clock in the morning here now this hour is too early for us but we got up to watch you a lot of turkish fans are watching you now please wave to us hello everyone in turkey what's up we wish to be successful in your first djing experience you're the best good broadcasting and we love you fighting you know whenever i'm on the radio i remember we get a lot of messages from turkey in our um big turkey fan base and you know thank you guys so much for listening um, the fact that you guys are so loyally listening to every broadcast really means so much because as someone who's still, you know, to a certain extent new in this idol world and just experiencing anything, the fact that we have someone who comes in to listen to us, it's a very, um, touching thing. And it really, um, gives us a lot of confidence because we know that there are people supporting us and listening. So thank you so much. Also on a side note, Today, before my radio broadcast, as a support, one of my fans, Miho, I hope you're listening, sent in um, Toshirak, or Korean lunch kind of set, to um, our radio broadcast for me and all the staff to eat. So thank you so much. You're the best. And it was delicious. Very good. All right, thank you. And our next message comes from Kimberly from the USA. She says... OMG, G, 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 Benji, I love your smile. It's so cute. I feel like I fell in love at first sight. You're so handsome. I'm glad to see a fresh new face at Music Access today. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you know, you said I'm handsome. I'm going to say I'm working on becoming, you know, more manly. Get, you know, working out, getting my muscles, you know. But, you know, when, when people tell me, honestly, you know, you're cute or, you know, your smile is cute or you're handsome... I still feel so um, shy inside sometimes. You know, they say, you know, you're right, you're so handsome. And inside I'm thinking, really? 
Am I am I handsome? Oh, you know, I have these little kind of um, boy moments, I guess. But it's okay. You know why? Because I'm a boy group. So I don't necessarily have to be a manly man yet. It's a work in progress. All right. Our next message is from Mara from the USA. It says, I know you're in B.I.G., but how about where you grew up? I feel like you may have grown up in the American South. You have a little bit of a twang in your American accent. I'm curious because even though I live in Seattle, I grew up in Texas. All right, everybody. Are you ready for this? Do you want to know where I grew up? Drum roll, please. I grew up in none other than Seattle, which is where you, Mara, currently live. Um, in terms of my southern twang in my American accent, um, I apologize. I have no explanation for that. <laughs> I guess it's something I might have picked up uh, while I was just speaking English. Um, in terms of Seattle, though, I was actually born in the Midwest. But when I was four, I moved to Seattle. And then up until I went to college, um, that was where I lived the entire time. So um, just a little, you know, shout out to Seattle. What's up, Seattle? Mom and dad, if you're listening. What's up, mom and dad? Uh, it rains a lot in Seattle. It does rain a lot. And the weather is always like really nice. So in the winter, it's not too cold. Summer, it's not too hot. We have a lot of trees, a lot of nature. And it's a very... Mm, great place to live. Seattle, I love you. We're saying. <laughs> All right. Thank you for that. And our last message comes from Yvonne from Germany. She writes, Hey, Benji, welcome to the MA Music Access family. Thank you so much. And to all the Music Access family members listening right now, I hope you're having a great time because I am too. <laughs> How are you today? I'm Yvonne from Germany and I'm 18 years old. So, this is a few things about me. Um, I have a question. Today is my sister's birthday. Um, her name is Nicole. Could you please wish her a happy birthday? Thank you, and I hope that you have a great time at MA. Ivan. You know, I could just wish you a happy birthday, but, you know, I happen to bring something in the studio with me. Um, it's a four-stringed instrument. Um, you might know it as the violin. Uh, let me just bring it out really quick. This is what a violin looks like. Um, it's very beautiful. I've had this for a long time. And so I was thinking, you know, I could just, you know, say happy birthday, but let's spice it up and we'll mix it in with some violin. What do you think? Is it okay? Okay. Okay. All right, let's do it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Nicole! And it was your, um, oh, it doesn't say how old you are, but I hope that you have an amazing birthday and it is a great day for you. All right, so thanks to everyone who sent in your messages for message time. Um, let's listen to one more song before we come back. Uh, this song is Everything Has Changed by Taylor Swift featuring Ed Sheeran. Oh, and um, just let me just say one thing. It's my first time as a DJ and it's a very, you know, as a guest before, I was always really excited to come on because I knew that there would be people who could, you know, support me in case I lost my flow of words or something like that. But now coming here, one thing that I'm really excited about is the fact that even though there's no one in the studio with me right now, I know that you all out there are listening. And that for me is just great support. All right. So now this, um, it's almost time to wrap up the first hour. And in the second hour, we will have Tasha coming into our studio for our Monday corner, My Treasure Box. Now for the final song of the first hour, it will be Everything Has Changed 
by Taylor Swift featuring Ed Sheeran, requested by Nur Hasina from Malaysia. So don't go away. We'll be right back after the song with My Treasure Box in the second hour. Stay tuned. You good to go?